Hey, you know what's more lit than fidget spinners? Windows XP Home Edition. And it's even better on an IBM ThinkPad. Damn, son, where'd you find this? This is the IBM ThinkPad T43, one of the final IBM manufactured ThinkPads you could buy. This one would have cost $3,000 back in 2005. It rocks a 1.86 GHz Pentium M processor, a 128MB ATI Radeon X300 graphics card, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 64 gig IDE solid state drive. The screen is a 15-inch FlexiView IPS display, which is absolutely gorgeous. It also can run Crisis. And it has the ability to run YouTube. Feel the aesthetic. On top of that, it has two Ethernet ports, a PCM CIA slot, as well as a kick ass mechanical keyboard. Now you can get one of these for 80 bucks, but this particular one often sells for 200. It's a very rare model. Running emulators is a breeze. It can play NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn. And do arcade emulation too. Dreamcast also runs smoothly on it. Aside from emulators, it can handle older Steam titles, especially ones by Valve. And Sonic Heroes gets 60 FPS. FPS games from 2008 and earlier run at good frame rates also. It can even do some light video editing. I edited part of this video on this laptop. It even clicks on things fast. The only downside to this laptop is it does not have a Pentium MX. So for comparison's sake, we're gonna test the SSD in this Compact Armada 7730MT, see if it's any faster.
The IBM ThinkPad boots in about 26 seconds or less. Well, what do you know? Well then, that was pretty close. Still a few seconds slower, but not bad. Windows 98 still isn't obsolete. One other downside of this ThinkPad is it won't run your vintage, fucked up Japanese game collection with 100% compatibility. The Compact, as you can see here, runs Gradius 2 as well as this obscure game rather smoothly. By the way, don't actually play that game. It's pretty messed up. This laptop would have kicked my Dell Dimension 2400's ass back in the day. It was practically a desktop. Just look at the FPS on Return to Castle Wolfenstein. But the final question is, should you buy one? Well, for $80, you could either get this or a Super Nintendo Classic. And the library of games you can run on this is much larger. It's even suitable for music production. The T43, however, will become obsolete in a few years, so while its performance is still good enough for many things, it's not much better than a $200 Windows 10 netbook. So the answer to if you should get one is a big maybe. One other easter egg about this laptop is it can actually run 32-bit Windows 10, but I think Windows XP is more aesthetically pleasing. But overall, this laptop is very sleek, and if I was a businessman, it would be more than enough for sending emails and making spreadsheets, especially thanks to this lightning fast SSD. In other news, Lenovo recently made a new retro ThinkPad that has the same keyboard as this model, but with modern specs. It's $1,900, however, so it might not be a good option for everyone. Shout out to Mark from Classic Gamer for reminding me to show off my box copy of Truxton 3. Good luck finding a copy of this, very rare. It's the only thing better than Windows XP.